okay. What may be a very short iWorld, everybody. That's, there's actually not a lot of Apple news. Um, crap, I still need to get the other one up. We, we uh, Phil and I last week talked about the Gestapos and uh, Apple, you know, basically pretending to be police and <laughs> going into this poor guy's house. <laughs> like, it's like it's, Apple just can't not do this stuff. But... You know, the, given that they lost an iPhone 5 and they, they went looking... I can't believe they lost another one. That's, that's <laughs> funny. I, I, I actually believe the blogosphere when it said, this is fake. I'm like, they, they no way... I mean, this literally sounded like what happened before. No way did Apple lose an iPhone prototype twice in a bar. Right. <laughs> like, yeah, but, I mean, so was it fake or was it real? It was what real. Was, what is the end result? Because I, I haven't followed that. Uh, I haven't heard anything about them finding it. But it was real enough that they got that they apparently tracked it to some guy's house and got the San Francisco Police okay, Department. Okay, so Apple responded to this thing. Yes. Well, what happened was six. Well, then of course, it's real. Yeah, no. What, happen what, what happened was six people went to a guy's house where apparently Apple had tracked the device to. Apple called the San Francisco Police, but they said they didn't want to file a police report. They didn't want to report their thing stolen, but they had tracked it to there. And so four off-duty officers went with two Apple employees. The cops showed their badges, you know, yada yada the guy, you know, got him all compliant. And then said, these two people are going to go in your house and look for something. And the two people were the Apple employees. So, but you know, the guy thought they were cops. You know, he, they... Why go to that link and just say, hey, do you have this fucking iPhone, we give it to these guys. I mean, why, why would they need the Apple for the uh, house? That it, part may be fuzzy, because that legally didn't make sense. I mean, if, it's, an official, it's say, an official... You have this device, you know? It's an official statement, and it's been acknowledged by the San Francisco <laughs> Police Department. Really? So, unless the San Francisco what? Police Department has That's no insane. idea what their left and right hand's doing, because initially they came out and denied hmm. the thing, That's but true. but then That's they issued true. an official That's written true. statement about this side. so it, as like it's this is when they're issuing official written statements so nothing gets misunderstood that that's let me ask you this did the homeowner consent to entry yes oh well. and what yeah, no, he's like, like I said he did so under the impression that he was letting cops in and he basically didn't want to you know get in the argument over with him but so he didn't guy, know. That guy needs to go to the legal school to understand his rights, man. Yeah. <laughs> Come back when you got a warrant. Well, they, yeah. Apparently they apparently they question. According to this guy, they questioned him about his immigration yeah. status, and basically they went and roughed him up so he'd be compliant. I'm the kind of guy. I'm the kind of guy. I don't care. I, I I have nothing to hide. But I'm sorry. I use the law. You know. I, I people always say, oh, well, you have must have something to hide. No. No. no I have. I, 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 have I, I like practicing my rights. Uh, I, until they repeal, until they repeal the Fourth, Fifth, and Sixth Amendment, I'm going to use them. Until they repeal them, I'm going to use them. <laughs> People don't understand. It's not that you have something to hide. That if you give up in the court of law, it may be a variable that you don't even know about. That by consent in the court of law, no matter how hard you try to fight, it will then be argued that you gave up those rights. In the court of law, they would be right, and that's why. Exercise your rights, no matter how stupid you think it is, no matter how innocent you are with a halo on top of your head. Exercise your rights. I don't care. No, no, go get a war. Come back. Sorry. Yeah. That's how it is. Wow. Too bad. They got, I gave up a lot of his rights by consenting. Yeah. Well, no, and he can't say anything about it because, like you said, he let them in. Yes, son. That's just, they're not trespassing. There's none of that stuff. What I found funny about that, though, was they didn't find it there. Uh, and as far as I know, they haven't actually found it. Still, you know, it's a week. It's two weeks later now. They still haven't found the thing. If they tracked it to his house, why like, is Apple so critical? They've already, uh, uh, technically speaking, yeah, they make money off of this. But a lost phone is not going to hurt their profits. Right. Like, why are they so critical about that? They're certainly not going to win the market share battle. But if it's just, so, what Apple purists like to argue is how much money they still make. How the how the um, this is a G-rated show. So how the hell does uh, Apple uh, worry about losing profits from this thing? So what if people knew in advance? They knew in advance about the iPhone 4. Do we care? No. Well, and there's a there's a leaked design for the iPhone 5. Nobody knows if it's real or not. I'm sure they have all the patents in the world backing it. 
Oh, yeah, well, yeah. It, 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 what the hell? You know, it's, it's, it's good uh, tabloid news at this point. Yeah, and, well, it is. And at this point, there's iPhone 5 rumors. I, I'm 90% I'm convinced at some point in October we're going to have an iPhone 5 announcement. You might, you might. I don't think it's going to be all that special, in my opinion. No, no, it's going to be we have a, a new iPhone. Well, according to this, you know. Next, that I have a dual core GPU, though. See, iOS is new, the new gaming platform. I don't know if you saw my video. That, to me, I, I saw too much statistics now about. about I think it's, they're, they're both in 30% and close to 40% of application downloads are all games for iOS. Like oh, no, no, no. They're, they're, they're making the iPhone for 14 to 18 year olds to oh, buy, it's, it's, and, and it's, uh, maybe upwards of 24 year olds, but no. It's like, I, 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 they're, they're making that for teenagers. The total combination, I think it's 68 or 70% of applications downloaded are games, or entertainment applications. Well, and no. I made, and I made this video. I don't. I own an iPad. People wonder why. Well, I don't. I'm not. I don't own a game console other than that. My wife bought a Wii for my kids. I've never. I've never owned one. You know, because I'm not. I just not. Remember, the tablet to me was always for productivity, and, and to me, it just, the, the 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 iPad never. Well, and that as we've said several times, you and I are becoming dinosaurs when it comes to that because we use our computing devices to actually do work and earn money, and apparently that's not what they're for anymore. <laughs> what I find funny is that people are willing to pay five hundred bucks for a little game, like you know, a gaming thing. You know that they can happen to go surf the web. You know, there's other devices that you can do that for cheap. You know, well, no, I, right. I mean, if we're honest, the iPhone's only 200 bucks subsidized, yeah. so... Yeah, <laughs> no, my, my wife again today, you know, her, her damn iPhone keeps disconnecting, and now she's laughing about it. So my brother, who lives in Guatemala, was so excited to get the, his first iPhone, and um, she's laughing about it, because I've owned all the generations of iPhone except for the first. And my wife has the iPhone 4, and uh, everybody that we know, of course, you can't make a phone call if it's life dependent on it. Now, I know there's people that swear across the pond in England that, oh, yes, it's, it's wonderful, this and that, and if they can carry uh, a phone call, okay, that's fine, if it, if it truly is, but I, I don't know. I mean, I'm not very pessimistic about it, uh, because the iPhone continues still to do well here. It's like my wife again said today, you know, she, she wants a MacBook Air, because we went to the Apple Store. She's definitely going to get a MacBook Air. But she was looking at the iPad, she's like, nah. No, I don't want the iPad. You know, it's too limited. I wanted to be able to do more than this. And I was, I was so happy. You know, I was like, wow, finally. Okay, wow, right. somebody's rejected the overly simplified. No, she, she owns the iPhone, and she's going to continue to own the iPhone because it's cool. Remember, she thinks it's cool, too. The iPhone. You know, she's like, ah, you know, I just keep I know it's, it's, it's cool, you know. And, 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 and so, but the cool factor did not bleed into the iPad. So I was like, oh. That's great. But her herself, she's like, yeah, my friends have iPads. They, it's just the new thing. They always brag about how cool it is and how fun it is to draw on it. And if that's her circle, then almost everybody that I talk to says that same thing. It's just telling me this is a gimmicky thing. It's a fad. As I, when I said it in my video. You know, I, I'm sure that there's a few million that are not. But as long as the games are rolling in and the entertainment is rolling in, there's going to be a breaking point that people are going to say, damn, do I want to pay 500 bucks really to do this? Really? And it may be at that point Apple goes cheaper. Because, And I get into this because HP is doing a relaunch of, of the touchpad for still cheap prices. Which well, no, I know, and they, and they may, uh, we, we covered and that in PC. I, as, as, as near as anybody I'm can figure, and this is what makes no sense about that. They're losing money on every single one of those. You know, I don't. I don't believe it anymore. I don't. I talked to a supply guy uh, a couple weeks ago when this occurred. Uh, I work in, in the computer distribution industry. I, I, I'm in the R&D side for this company, and I won't say the company's name. That's why I'm a programmer. I don't really deal with resale. That's like the gigantic part of the company is all computer distribution channel stuff. Okay. And they were t and they were telling me. Oh hell no! That the cost uh, uh, of, of the, the touchpad is, is extremely cheap, and which led me to believe at this point to say, "Hmm, Apple is making money hand over fist. They've sold 
you know, 15 million of the first gen and close to another 12 or maybe 10, I don't know. Uh, 25 million total, uh, let's say, iPads, or maybe it's close to 30 million. That, that, what the costs are, that the pundits believe the materials cost, I think they said it was $300. Hell no. I think it's far lower than that. I actually think, I actually think that the, the cost of manufacturing these things are far lower now than it, and, and and oh, I know the I know the assembling and manufacturing costs. Yeah, based, well. upon, based upon what I heard from these guys in the channel supply stuff, and now it makes sense to say, well, Apple is making hands over fist money, and they're a hardware company, which means their margins must be larger than we're led to believe. And that makes me think that it's extremely cheap to make these things. Uh, and of course, to say okay, labor and all this other stuff, well. If you're at Apple, you've got other sectors paying, you know, uh, a piece of, of an iPhone, of course, is paying for iOS and this and that. So HP is like, dude, they wouldn't do it if they weren't going to make money off of it. And that's what you guys got to understand. See, people are like, oh, why should be stupid? No. It's reverse. Well, I, I, I said they're stupid if they're really losing money on every single one in that $300 <laughs> estimate is shut. They're not going to make it. The reason why they're making it the reason why they're making is revenue is money. It's the end of the end of, end of, end of, end of story. It's end of, anybody who disagrees, I'm sorry, you need to reverse your thought. It's simply just not cost as much as you're willing to make these things. It's, that's it. It, it. It's simple as that. They're, uh, now, the reason why they're leaving consumer devices is because that CEO, that's not his game. You, you, you're, you're, you, I, I, everybody on the PC side has said he's crazy. We want him out of there. It's not, but he is who he is. <laughs> Uh, he's even trying to destroy the largest, you know, it's like, whatever, he's, he's just a, 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 I mean, fine, he may be good at what he's wanting to do, but not, don't take HP there. So, I mean, that's, it, no, I think HP is making money off of doing it, and that's going to be interesting, because now, now I want to see, uh, I'm waiting for BlackBerry to see what they do with their prices, now, and, and, and I want to see, and I wonder, are we going to start seeing a $200 iPad in the future? I'm, I'm, I'm I, 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 honestly, for what they do at this point, given that it's hard to do a lot of productivity in them, slates in general, whether it's an iPad or oh, well, so we're getting into PCB Mac, but I don't really care. Uh, it's like, but in general, I would say the price the consumer where for the toy that it is, because at this point it is a toy. It's, it's, a, it's a toy appliance device. It right. could do work if software was written to let it do that, but that software doesn't exist. At this point, it's a fancy toy, which makes it worth 125 to 200 right. bucks. And That's so the read, toy price. I want, yep, I want to really reiterate your point in that in the future, the iPad, the iPad may become viable, and it may be a device that we, I can even program on and therefore write programs for. And then that's truly replaced, you know, my, my computer in front of me. But, but until that day, it, you know, that it's, it's not here. And I see, the form factor does kind of bug me. I don't have to have a hard keyboard anyway. Well, no, and, and they make a number of accessories for, since we're on iWorld, we'll talk about the iPad. They make ways to dock it with a keyboard. Uh, and, and, you know, honestly, if I'm doing most programming or stuff, honestly, I'm going to want to do that. I'm going to want to dock it with my keyboard and go blah, 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 blah. And why it would look cool to use one of those expensive laser keyboards Given how lightweight a device the iPad is, and I know how much those laser keyboards lag unless they have a good amount of processing power behind them, I, no. <laughs> it's like, I, I want the physical buttons and let me mash them. And <laughs> mm -hmm. exactly. So yeah, I mean, what the hell was the original, oh, we were discussing the iPhone 5, and that's how we digress. But, so I guess, yeah, that, that uh, um, I'm, I'm shocked that the guy and let them in the house and Apple went to that extent. So. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, th that was not the smart way to go about it. <laughs> uh, it's uh, supposedly though with the, this is the rumor, uh, and it's like recently a uh, design for the iPhone five has sprouted up. Honestly, when I look at this thing, it, um, I think if this is the true design for the iPhone five. 
I've not even seen it. Is there like a picture? The first of link and scroll down. <laughs> oh, I, didn't, I was on the second one. Okay. Uh, you know, uh, oh, okay. I see. Yeah, yeah. It's like, I, like, is it just me, or is it looking more? Because I mean, the, when the iPhone four came out, that it looked a. Soon. Yeah, I'm gonna say it looked a lot like an HTC phone. It's like, has Apple started poaching other people's designs? <laughs> if this is the iPhone five, is, is, that, is that a case or is that the phone? Uh, it's uh, beveled. Yeah, that supposedly uh, the case. I think that's a case. So like the black and okay, gray colors. Okay, but that metal stuff, like in the background. Okay, I see the rubberized case. Yes. But, but okay, so the two things that are like gray and black. Right I there, think that's the case? phone. I th that's the phone. The, according to this rumor. Okay, wait a minute. So all right, so the, okay, wait a minute. Alright. It looks like a case, though. Okay, you see, like, the ports on the side there? Yes. And, and, then, but, and, then, and then it raises up, and it's like that brushed uh, aluminum. Uh -huh. Is that the phone, or is, it, is the brushed aluminum a case? I think the brushed aluminum <coughs> is the phone, according to this rumor. That's interesting. So it, it looks like my Zoom. Yeah, and you click the patent application. I mean, my Zoom HD, I should say. Zoom HD. Yeah. That's fine. That looks almost exactly like a Zoom HD. Oh. Uh, 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 you know, that, that might be friendlier to hold. Just, I, I, that, that that honestly, hard. looking at this, that would be a lot friendlier to hold because yeah. of the thick, it, it, the fact that it, I think this makes it thicker, actually. Or at least Ooh. feel thicker. I wonder if this, uh, they may have solved an antenna problem. Oh no no! I'm sure. I'm sure if this is the design, and we'll put a picture in of it. In, in, in because see, it is. It's a layer, and it's and it's got protection. Yeah, I, and I think if this is the design, that's basically what they've done. They've taken the old one and taken the outer case off, and then put this shell case over it. Is what I think they've done here, which would fix the antenna issue because then the phone itself has the layered casing. If this is the iPhone 5 design. Well, you know, we'll find out in a month or so. I'll be damn. Yeah. It, it, it's, it's weird. <laughs> it's, uh, well, I like the design. You know what? I was the first one that said when the iPhone 4 was leaked that I loved it. Every other Apple purist said it looked like shit, and Apple would never do that with the hard lines. No, the no, no, I, I remember that. All the Apple purists came out and said it looks too much like an HTC phone, and I uh, said, you know, they're probably right, but Apple should make a design like that uh, uh, because it would look everybody. better. <laughs> yeah. It's like, oh, it's the coolest thing since sliced bread. Yeah, and then all of those people said, yeah, you're right, they just reversed. Uh, yeah. The the other thing, it, it, I, I, it's not really no, no, I, I, I'm gonna say it's, if this is the design, it's a nice design. I, 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 it, it's still gonna be an iPhone, so forget it. But uh, at least for me. But the other thing I like about this design, if this is the design, is that they've gotten rid of the glass. The what? Oh, the glass. Yes. Yeah. Because like I, that was the thing. I'm like, it looks great, but I'd seen all these people who dropped their phone, and then it didn't look so great. <laughs> and I'm sorry, people do occasionally drop their phone. It just happens, you know. I almost every iPhone owner I know, except maybe my, my wife has a case on it. Because a lot of people don't like cases. It's funny. Uh, has 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 a busted screen, and in, in not even the iPhone four. A lot of iPhone owners that I know, it's always a busted screen or something wrong with it. It's always. Busted. I'm like, damn. And you know, I've owned Blackberries. I've owned that HTC Evo. And I haven't, you know, they've been dropped. No problems. My Palm Pre! <laughs> I, I, I really need to replace this thing, and I'm and I'm honestly leaning <laughs> towards getting an Evo. Uh, because right. I, 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 I'm willing to probably buy another Palm. I know it's going to die, but Palm Pre is Version two, if, if I could, if I can maybe from Europe get a, a Palm a Palm Pre three when I'm ready, uh, I'd probably do it and just put it on AT&T or something. Um, because I, 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 the application catalog has a lot more applications ready for the for uh, for version two and above. A lot more than one point four five. You know, one point four five is just your minuscule, bare bones land in terms of uh, application. So. Uh, 
uh, the reason you know the reason why I have my phone printing is that I don't do business on my phone much because I can't. There's not enough applications on the on the phone on the phone device. The iPhone did have applications to do productivity, but it couldn't make phone calls. So and it was you yeah, kind of need both. Well, yeah. no, it's like uh, while, while we're on the iPhone now in this case. But wait, I want to I want to say that my oldest son dropped my pre three like from his shoulder. Because he was like doing some stupid dance thing. So that's awesome. about two and a half feet to three. Yeah, it, it, nothing happened on his phone. It was awesome. Well, okay. no, it's like, and, and I, I have dropped this G1. I, 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 actually, I've dropped it a good distance. As you've dropped your Nexus a lot, too. It's like, it's like people drop their things. We've abused them. You know, technology <laughs> gets abused. And, and you know what? This thing. This thing is one of the first G1s they made. It, I literally got this the month they came out. It's, it's literally one of the first ones. I got this before you could get it unlocked from T-Mobile. You had to like go to other people to get your phone unlocked. That's how old this one is. It's been dropped. It's been abused. For all intents and purposes, it still looks freaking brand new. Yeah. And I have never, and this is one, one of my big gripes about Apple devices, I have never seen an iPod, an iPhone, or, or any of these devices where, unless they were like vacuum sealed in a case on day one, where they are not scratched, Tom, I son, I mean those original uh, aluminum <laughs> cases they had for the laptops, you went, yeah. oh crap, it's fucked up, you know, <laughs> it's just, <laughs> dude, you know, like there's like the picture of a tire here on you. like that on yours when you still had it, didn't you? What? Your, that, that like big rubber case you stuck? What, on my iPhone? Yeah. 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 Like, and what was funny about that was it actually made it feel right in your hand. Because like the iPhone yeah, doesn't yeah. feel right in my hand, but like, that big rubber I, case, something yeah. about it made the weight like right or something. That's like... Putting it in your pocket sucked. You know, putting it in your pocket, yeah. you know, uh, for me, for me it sucked. But my, you know, my Palm 3, it lit, and I, I was going to, I didn't get to tell you the reason. The reason why I keep that Palm, the Palm Pretty, you know, of course it doesn't drop phone calls, but from Verizon, it's a free Wi-Fi hotspot. So I'm going to keep that line and try to, I don't know what I'll upgrade to. I want to, I'm likely, probably, I, I, I'm going to look into trying to get a free, but if I do that, then I'm going to lose my Wi-Fi hotspot kind of thing. So I'm looking into maybe. Well, and, and then if you go with AT&T or Verizon with a new plan, you're... you're Not new no, they, they, my friend was able to keep his plan uh, uh, in upgrading his phone. So I'm going to follow his footsteps. And, and, and you have grandfathered in on unmetered data, right? Yeah, I yeah. am. Okay, and, okay. and, and free Wi-Fi hotspot. Okay. So, um, the, I don't know, I, I, if BlackBerry QNX phone is good, because, like I said, I want the combination where they communicate with each other. That's what the iPhone and iPad don't do. You know, they're just two separate islands. Um, but uh, that, I think that would be the phenomenal setup for me. But we can we can go back to what you were talking about. I, I, I well, well, all, all I was going to say was on the logic of them, you know, never looking new, never saw. And I, and I swear they do that. So next year when they come out with a new model, yours is looking grungy. You want to go buy the new one so it looks Apple-ish again. And like yeah. I swear that's why they have such horrible, you know, because so, like I, 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 no other brand, no, everyone else, you know, like I, I have a. ThinkPad down here, and it's an actual ThinkPad. You know, it, it's aside from the fact I broke one of the hinges after three years of continued abuse, it, it still looks, you know, almost like day one. It, it wore very well. Uh, do you think this iPhone design, if it is the iPhone 5, will finally be an Apple device that wears well for? I'm not saying if you like hit it with a sledgehammer repeatedly or something, nothing can endure that. But just from day to day use, it's not going to look like shit. If it, if it looks like this, I think it will. Other than the brushed aluminum will scratch, but I mean, my Zoom has scratches on it. I'll get it fixed. Yeah, yeah. But I'm saying it's it's how they get the scratch. If if I if I, if I look what, what, if I look really carefully, this article this article says. 
Casemate had these, this on their website and now it's been pulled. Why would it be published? I mean, this is what I don't understand. Shit like this to me is intentional. I'm sorry. You just don't go, I'm, I'm going to just publish this, you know, to put it on my website and that's, you know, what? Hell no. This, this was intentional by Casemate to probably get out there and they pulled the freaking image. I, I, Oh, I know. I'm sure about that. Yeah, they put this up and then pull it and inside. And then, oh, well, now it's definitely legitimate. It's been pulled. <laughs> well, no, it's like, I'm... See, I, I'm with you, though, on the side, because, like, these ones in the background here looks like the brush thing, but these ones in the foreground make it look like they're cases. Yeah, that, that looks like it's a case. But the... I... I, I I, I see, here's what I'm honestly thinking when I look at this, because keep in mind about the bumpers on the iPhone 4, and again, we're making the assumption that this rumor is legitimate, but if I had to look at this based on these two pictures, I'm thinking the ones in the background are the design, and these ones in the foreground are with like a, a rubber colored bumper on them. Yeah, because yeah, that, 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 it looks like in theme with the bumper thing they were going, except because of the different design. It's the bumper now covers the whole back. You know how how Apple is to i to the iPhone hardware as Microsoft is to Windows. If you understand what my analogy means, <laughs> the, you know how the, I can take that two then, ways. <laughs> Windows has always been radical, you know, from changing code bases to code bases to code bases. The Apple iPhone is doing exactly that. I mean, they've gone from the first gen to the 3G to the you know to 3GS, which was pretty much the same model, and then to the four, which is radical. And if this is five, dude. Well, and, and what they're I doing here, well, if they are going to change the design with every incarnation, like they're doing here and like they've been doing, then what they're creating with the i uh, phone platform. Uh, and it wouldn't surprise me if at some point if the iPad sticks, if they start doing it hey. with the iPad platform. Dude, the iPad's new design is beveled, isn't it? For the iPad 2 or the iPad? Yeah, for the iPad. It's like beveled, like straight up, right? Uh, Look at it. Because I remember the other one was like really smoothish or something. I I, th I think that's more an optical illusion of them making it thinner. I don't think it's actually deliberate. Wait a minute. Which which is it? I want to see uh, with the iPad two. I want the second gen. That's the you just go to Apple dot com. Yeah. Well, I was trying to see a comparison. All right. Let me just uh, because that phone wouldn't be too far off. No, no, the design, uh, well, the, if you, the iPad 2 is not square beveled like this one is. It's no, still oh, no, 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 wait, okay, yeah, that was the original one that was beveled. The second one is smoother. Okay, it's yeah. the way around. Never mind. I thought it was, uh... And thought, the, uh, the iPad is beveled more like the 3GS was. It's just this round yeah, back. Like, yeah, it looks like a 3GS. Okay, it was the first one that was harsher than okay. Yep. Well, it's like the, the, that is the thing. Like, uh, if this is basically Apple is taking the Hummer approach when it comes to the iPhone design, <laughs> uh, basically. But I, I'm wondering something here because, uh, really, for all intents and purposes, if you buy a Mac, there's something wrong with you. But if you bought a Mac, uh, it's like if you buy, uh, with the exception of the MacBook Air, which is new and still finalizing its design as they figure out what they're going to do with it. But if you bought a MacBook, which they've now discontinued, or a MacBook Pro, or an iMac, they largely look the same from version to version to version to version to version. So unless you either know the codes on the thing or you boot it up and check the specs, you don't really know whether it's, if you've taken care of it, the brand new one or five years old. Uh, well, with the MacBook Pro, that's not exactly true because they've changed the design recently. But if you have one of the current design. Uh, with the iPhone, it's becoming more and more, like you say, the cool factor and the fashion accessoriness of it 
Oh, you have last year's model. You're so out of date. You have to get this year's model. You just it's not in fashion anymore. Uh, <laughs> you're not my favorite, my, yeah, my favorite thing about that is that's so five minutes ago. Exactly. Like, that's just so five minutes ago. Uh, and, 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 I, and I get it. Like, and I would discredit this. I'm like, why would they change the design yet again? Why not just put a coating on it? But given that the whole idea is they're cool and get to and impulse buy and so forth, it makes perfect sense for them to do this. You know, it's like why we're why we're fixing the antenna problem, let's just completely redesign it and make the old one obsolete. You know <laughs> Yeah, that's Okay, moving on, unless you want to stay on this, to Patent Gate 2.0. Yeah. Let me just, I, mean, I, I posted on Twitter, let me just say that. We don't need patent reform, even though that's happening. It, it, the, we, we, we really don't need patent reform. What, what we need is that we need companies to stop using the law to be competitive. Well, no, and th see, that, that's the thing. I think we do need patent reform, but not in the way we're going to get it. The only patent reform I want to see is you have to sue the person you're actually after when you're trying to use patents to prevent competition. If, <laughs> if Apple wants to sue Google, Apple should sue Google, <laughs> and so on and so forth. Yeah. That way we see, don't I have these... My problem is that they're changing it to first to file now, and instead of first to invent, and that's going to be so abused. Oh, oh no, I, yeah, no, it's like the reform... Apple's going to just go there... And, they, and the product will just be total concept, you know, BS. Not everything worked out, and, and just whoop, fill up, fill up all these. Patents. Yeah, yeah, no, well, no that, that, that's the thing. The reform they're doing to patent law is going to do nothing but fuck it up more. Actual reform would be like what I'm talking about, where you say, okay, if you want to abuse the patent court system, then you do it once and you do it against the head guy, rather than doing all of this sue everybody to sue everybody to up the costs of things to make people you know want to settle and so it's like no none of that go there one suit taken care of you know win or lose gone done rule and made the consequence of losing more painful uh like you know in other words if you lose you in essence pay for it you know so in other words it keeps it you better have all your junk well, yeah, well, and like, like I said, it, you know, if, if Apple really thinks Android infringes on Apple patents, if Apple... It's never going to go through. It's not, it's not going to... It's going to all wash. Oh, and no, 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 I, I, know, I, no I, I, I know that. Well, no, see, and Apple wants to pause the patent suit. Basically, they're, they're, they're wanting to put everything on pause and see what... See how it levels out after Google finalizes owning Motorola. And, 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 Google, and Google just bought another thousand something patents from IBM. I know. <laughs> they are stocking up, man. Oh, yeah. I mean, like, we, assuming we... They're going to the U-Haul service pretty soon. Jesus. Assuming we do PC versus Mac uh, this weekend, or we, oh, we may not do it till next week, you know, that that's one of the things in there. It's uh, the, it Basically, it's there. It's like Google is preparing for the Cold War. Instead of they nukes, they're, they're stockpiling their patents. <laughs> they're just... <laughs> It's, isn't it sad that it has to come to this shit, man? It's so sad. Well, but what I hate most about it is that it basically means it, it, it's the ultimate prevention of competition. Because little mom and pop companies and small OEMs cannot afford to stockpile patents like this. Really, only your uber large. Uh, and Apple pursuing some of these things only tells me that they're really worried. You know, it's, it's to me, I can't find. You know, if it's as the Apple pundits would say, oh, no, the masses buy the iPad for X, Y, and, and, and Z because it's such a uh, wonderful operating system that uh, they, they, you know, like, all of a sudden consumers are geniuses at operating systems and things, you know, because they know what to look for. Well, no, that was the thing. The other day, um, so, somebody no, asked right. me, they, they, they were looking to buy smartphones, and they asked me, and they were saying, um, you know, they were like, well, it's an iPhone, Android. It's like all the people at the eBay conference were saying, go buy an iPhone. But then these other people are telling me, go buy Android. And then there's this thing about the data plans, the yada yada. I go, AT&T is $10 a gig. 
That's just what it's going to cost you, $10 a gig. If you go with Metro or what are one of the alternative carriers, they're not going to have the iPhone. You're going to have to get Android, and they're going to cap you, but they won't turn your data off. They'll just slow it down. Sprint is truly unlimited. If you can't decide, go to the store, play with the phone, the one that makes sense to you. Set, set the open versus Android versus Apple versus I set all of that aside. Yeah. Go to the store, play with it. The one you like, buy it. <laughs> That, that, and that's my honest advice to everybody. It's like, I, yeah, in here we talk but about the whole debate. Advice because, you know, that's like I was saying, Apple pundits. If a, if a consumer buys Android, they're just dumb. They just want a cheap thing. But all of a sudden, if they buy an iOS or, or an iPad, oh, no, all of a sudden they're educated. They know refinement. They, they, it's like, you can't have it both ways, dude. Apple's worried. That's yeah. the bottom line. They're, they're, they're scared. And well, and, and, and so I, I try not to let my personal prejudices get into when I tell when I recommend things for people because I know what I want and I know why I don't like certain things. I mean, I hated Windows Vista, but honestly, there were people I said, "You don't do any of the things you have problems with here," and I, and I handed them a laptop that had it on. Them. Can you live with these changes? Right. And they said, "Yeah, okay, you'll be fine." <laughs> it's like, it's See, I actually believe that Google is not in violation you know, of, of the internal. Uh, the Samsung one, I'm going to go, okay, Apple, you know what, you can be, if you're blatant, <laughs> like some things are just absolutely blatant, then uh, you deserve to get smacked in the face. And I mean, I think on some of the Samsung ones, and, and, I, 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 he, he, here's the thing, to no <laughs> one that's just like, dude, what are you doing? Yeah, it's, yeah. No, to no one the Samsung ones, here's what we would honestly have to know. Did Samsung know what the iPhone or iPad was going to look like before it launched. And the reason I say that is because Samsung supplies Apple with so much hardware, it's very possible that that's the other way around or that that happens to be the best design for those components. In the which, icon, no, the icons on there, like iOS, no. I saw the, the, the one that I saw, maybe this is wrong, the one I saw, the hardware looked really like the iPhone. And then the UI was like the stupid icons. And, and to me, hell no. I hate iOS's icon interface. I want to take oh, you, 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 yeah, okay. But that that has to do with the pre-Sun uh, mindset. And there actually are other carriers that are doing no, that. No, if they're going to say that it needs to be universal, I'd but uh, as, I, the ones I'm world. the ones I'm talking about, God, the, 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 the complaint the, the complaint was not over the icons or any of that. The complaint was over the uh, over the hardware, and that the hardware looked too much like a blah. And I'm like, as far as the hardware looking alike, I, I can honestly see Samsung copying Apple. On the same token, I can see it being purely innocent. And the reality is, I don't have enough information because I'm not inside Samsung or Apple to know. Uh, so <laughs> it's three. Well, from the information I have, from information that limited information, information I know for now, it could change. But for now, I think Samsung should get smacked around a little bit. As far as going after Androids and internal things that I've read, I don't think so. I don't think Apple's going to win shit on that. Okay. I think that there's certain things in a computer, even though Androids come out and says, "Yeah, well, there are other ways to do it." I don't think that they're they're going to be able to win on. Uh, Internal mechanisms of the operating system. I think it's going to wash. That's why Google's like got a, now what two thousand IBM patents and all. Motorola's going to be like, yeah, well, if you want to say this, we can say this. Game over because that's all in our first, you know, first to invent, which is true. I agree. Patent for patent law should remain first to invent. Because you're well, the first badass to actually make a fully functional thing that's working rather than some, uh, 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 what is that, uh, ghostware. What is that, what is the word? Vaporware type thing and then file a patent on vapor. You know? Well, now see, that, that, that's the thing. All these people are filing patents for things they haven't actually made. Those should become yada yada. Because it, it, even if they're working on it, okay, everybody can file a provisional patent that's working on it. That's fine. But like you said, first one to actually solve it is the one who wins. Yeah, you know, the first one that should, but that's, that's changing. Now I know. It's the first to file. Uh, yeah. 
I, and, and I don't know why they're changing that. That, that makes no sense to well, me. Well, apparently, apparently the rest of the world operates that way, the first of all. According to my mother, who has been in patent law over 30 years. Okay, that's... Th that just doesn't seem... So, so basically... Uh, oh, I have an I. Uh, oh, yes, I solved something. Has somebody else filed a patent? Have they actually made it yet? I, 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 my answer is it's okay the United States to be different. Nothing else is going to change. You know, hey, the rest of the world uses Celsius, we use Fahrenheit. The rest of the world is metric, we use Imperium. I'm happy. <laughs> I don't have to be the service of the world. Uh, 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 <laughs> because honest, that's what that makes more sense. I, I honestly wish we would use Celsius and metric, but that's me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I realize that's very evil of me, but that's, you know, I, I like the fact that the math is much simpler. For sure. some reason, I, I can never remember how many blah blah are in a mile. You know, zero, you actually are freezing. Yeah, versus 32, 32, right? Where are you going? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let's you go see. to Calvin, so. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know what? We, we should do that just to be different. Ladies and uh, you know what? The Ewoks would like if we went to Kelvin. It's a whopping blah blah degrees, everybody! Look at that global warming! <laughs> uh -huh. Don't get me started on that. Don't get me started on that. You know, I think you already know my position, right? Because you asked me before the show. Uh, uh oh. Yeah, I, 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 so you're using my word. You said Ewoks. And and I, oh, have you? Did I, did I add you to PC? That's my word for that. I, 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 I know. You've, ins you've inspired me. I have a cut scene I want for any time we go into something hippy dicky. I want a little Ewok to run against the bottom of the screen down there with its arms up like ET, going hey, 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 or just screaming or something. It's like, and it leaves like. Trails of green recycled paper or something. Now, now I gotta take you to court, man. You violated my patent, man. I'm a patent I'll give you credit. <laughs> <laughs> Go, uh, dude, there, there, there are so many. If at some point here we ever get professional, you, Leo, and uh, to a point, Commodore actually need to get like credits in the closing credits, like tinfoil hat brought to you by Leo, Ewoks brought to you by Ben. That's like a song. There is any credit. I'm, I'm all for giving credit and rubbing off. I'd like to see. I'd like to see some of my words rubbing off like that. That's cool. <laughs> it was the perfect word, you know. And you gave me that. Like, they are the Ewoks. Unless there's more Apple stuff. I, I was going to make a comment. Speaking, i got to go back to work is what it really comes down to. Yeah. Well, I guess then we better call it Kwitski for a sec. Because we went into the stuff that is Apple-ish stuff for this week. I'm going to stop it there, but I have one quick question for you before you run off. Yep. So, peace out, everyone. <laughs>